Hello, this is Tom Bush. I'm a, a retired rheumatologist. I worked for many years at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. And Lou uh, Saavedra and Maggie Medueño from the Lupus Foundation of Northern California have asked me to uh, answer a few common questions that lupus ha patients have about managing their disease. There we go. So how to manage your lupus. So what are some triggers for lupus flares? Well, one of the major triggers is sun exposure. The ultraviolet light from sunshine, when it hits the skin, can cause damage. You might notice that it's sunburn, but you also get damage and, and destruction of some of the little cells underneath the skin. And when these cells are damaged, they release their nuclei and their, their DNA inside the nuclei. And these are things that can trigger lupus. So it's important to avoid excess sun exposure. In addition, scientists have found through studies that when patients are deprived of sleep or under uh, emotional or uh, mental stress, their immune system doesn't function as well. So you, if you have a period of significant stress or very poor sleep, sometimes that can trigger lupus. <clears throat> In addition, infections, which will rev up your immune system to fight the bacterial or viral infection can cause too much lupus activity in the immune system that may cause a flare. Now, when you're on lupus, when you, are, when you have lupus, you're usually taking a variety of medications to help control the lupus. Most of these work by slowing down the immune system. And a lot of them may take a while to have a good effect. So it may take a few days or weeks for them to kick in, if you will. So if you are taking your medications irregularly, you can have um, ups and downs in the activity of your immune system that are really very, very uh, bad for lupus and could cause triggers. So it's very important to take your medications regularly. Now, when you are having a flare of lupus, your doctor may increase your medicines, like increasing the dose of prednisone or azathioprine or Celsept in order to control the immune system and control your lupus. Now, most of these medicines do have side effects. We'd like to use the smallest doses possible. So often after a uh, flare of your lupus activity, your doctor may start decreasing your medicines, such as dropping your prednisone dose from 30 milligrams a day to 25 a day, and then down to 20 a day. Now, as we're tapering the medicines, we don't necessarily know exactly what the correct final dose is gonna be. For some patients, they're able to taper the prednisone down to five or 10 milligrams, or maybe get off of it, uh, without having any more activity of the lupus. But in other patients, when you get down to maybe 20 milligrams of prednisone, you're gonna to start to have a flare again. So even though you're, you're working carefully with your doctor on tapering your medications, um, that's a period of time where you may experience a flare if the medications drop a bit too low and you just need to keep in good communication with your doctor. And finally, just bad luck. Often we don't know the cause of a lupus flare. We really can't identify any of these factors. And the lupus just has a mind of its own at times to flare or not flare.